Hello and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. You are watching Through My Eyes Beauty. The start of this video isn't my norm. You know, usually I'll have, you know, I'll go through the whole spiel and all that. But to be 100% honest, I have been under the weather for the past three days, bedridden for two. I go back to work tomorrow and I just, I'm not, I don't have the energy to, you know, get myself together like I should, you know, take those steps for self-care like I should. And being on camera right now is kind of like my accountability. So you guys are going to be my accountability buddy. And um, I actually thought it was a good segue because I don't think I've ever actually talked about why I started my channel and, you know, what Through My Eyes Beauty really means. Through My Eyes Beauty is a channel that I started because like I said it was it was during a I don't want to say a dark time in my life because everybody's dark time is is different but you know during a trying time in my life when I started doing makeup and all that type of stuff but over time I realized that makeup is not the end all be all but self-care is so through my eyes beauty is being able to find beauty not only through my eyes through the things that i do but hopefully to be able to help you all find beauty find your own beauty through your own eyes you know so coming here looking undone as i do i feel like that's going to be something more i'm going to do with my channel because through my eyes beauty is not about being perfect is not about looking your absolute best does it feel amazing to look your absolute best of course and is that the goal yes but real life we don't always feel beautiful period in real life we don't always feel like getting beautiful okay it, hence why i'm on this camera right now hoping oh, i can actually get through this with you all's help i guess what's been going on with me um i've said this before i live in north dakota and what i'm doing y'all simply i haven't taken really good care of my hair lately and it's dry it's nasty i got dandruff all over the place so what i'm doing is i'm giving my scalp a hot oil treatment and then for my ends i'm doing a pre-poo and shampoo contains sulfates those sulfates are really, really good for cleansing hair, but it's also good for drying out hair. So when you're already dealing with dry, somewhat damaged and curly hair, cleaning it, taking all of the current oils out of it, and then drying it out is just gonna cause me to have a rat's nest later for my particular hair type, for my head, and for the water conditions out here because we have hard water out here in North Dakota. It's, it's actually really bad. So I cannot go straight in with shampoo, scrub around, and go in with conditioner and think that life is about to be cool. I go in with a pre-poo, which is just something that I do pre-shampoo. Um, I have a mixture of, what is this? A mixture of my Ozzy Moist conditioner some oil and some water that I have just in like a little squeeze bottle and it just helps me to comb through and loosen up the knots and it helps to re-moisturize my hair like why would you want to re-moisturize your hair before shampooing <sighs> honestly a lot of honestly a lot of people have a lot of different opinions about this method some people say you need it some people say you don't but for my hair in particular it really does help with the decreasing of breakage for one and then the amount of hassle that i have later in the detangling process and it allows me to get out um what's it called straight hairs in north dakota like i tell y'all it's cold it's crazy cold um just this week we've experienced temperatures like ambient temperatures of negative 60 all the way up to positive 10 so if you do the math, that is a 70 degree difference in weather day by day throughout the week. 
and nothing tore me up. <laughs> like I was, I've been fighting it since Wednesday, I want to say, and it finally took me out on Friday. So I come home and I'm thinking all is good, all is well, and long story short, it just wasn't just. It was just all bad. And then of course, I'm trying to be super mom, feeling like crap. And my kids are like, they're not, they weren't being aggravating, they were just being kids. But me, I'm trying to be safe. Hey, don't drink out of my cup. Hey, don't do that. Hey, don't play on that. You know, and my husband actually came out and had to put me in time out, like, he really, he really sat me down, y'all, and said, Ty, I love you, but you just need to go to bed. And I was like, well, I'm mom, so I need to be around and, you know, this, that, and the third. Long story short, making up stuff. The kids need me, you know what I mean? And he's like, no, you're aggravating everything, everybody in the house, because all you're doing is fussing. If you remove yourself, if you remove that same cup you fu you fussing about, if you remove, you know what I mean, all of that, literally, no one will have anything to fuss about. The kids won't be able to get into anything that I would fuss about. So you just, you just need to go. So, sure enough, I did. And within 10, mi 10 minutes of me removing myself from the situation, there was peace in my house when I tell you me being sick and trying to be productive was probably the craziest thing that I've ever experienced especially after realizing like sometimes you really do need to take a time out like you really just need to take the time and be like you know what you're right I can't do this I shouldn't do this I need to take a knee and then there was peace in my house and this is just a mixture of oil that I had sitting in um, a bowl of hot water for me. Putting it all on my scalp. Yeah, isn't it so foolish sometimes to feel guilty for needing to take time for yourself? You know what I mean? Does anybody else feel like that? Like, I just feel like because you're mom, you have to be super mom or you're worried like, oh, my husband's not going to do it the way I do it, so I need to be around. And it's true. My husband does not operate how I, how I operate, but after, you know, two full days of anxiety, because it happened twice, he kicked me out the room. <laughs> he kicked me out of family time twice because I was doing the same thing and didn't even realize I was doing the same thing. I was trying so hard, y'all. I was trying to be quiet and just clean and mop. I broke the mop and about cried. <laughs> it was so bad. It was just like, okay, you just you just need to go away. You 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 stressing yourself out at this point. But I felt bad. I don't know why. In what sick, sad world do we feel like we have to do everything when people are offering their assistance? Anybody else feel like that? That's awful. So sure enough, after taking that time, I ended up being the best thing that I could have done because I was able to finally rest, get myself together, just consume water and orange juice to make myself feel better and now. And here I am. So after two days of not taking care of myself, because I mean, I was forcing myself to be mobile, but the more I would force myself to get up and do things that my body honestly didn't want me to do, the worse I felt and the worse I was for my family so I had to sit my little happy butt down heal up and honestly it was probably one of the best things I could have done like the amount of sleep and rest I was able to get the amount of relaxation I was able to get because I mean let's be honest as much as we love our kids sometimes it feels really good to have silence it feels really good to know that they are being taken care of and it's not by you sometimes it's okay I gotta get myself together and I don't want to get myself together like I'm not feeling I'm not up feeling up to myself but yeah self-care is so important and again self-care is not just wearing makeup self-care is remembering to put on lip gloss when you don't feel like putting on 
a whole bunch of makeup, maybe trimming your eyebrows, you know, just to, you know, frame your face. Freaking, maybe you don't feel like running through your whole skincare routine, but you wash your face and put on your favorite moisturizer, you know, something invigorating. It smells like orange and zest and citrus or something like that. You know, just little things that can make you feel good about yourself. Maybe your version of self-care is not wearing a pair of sweatpants that day. Sometimes getting out of a pair of sweatpants and actually putting on a pair of jeans or putting on a skirt or a dress is what makes you feel good. Sometimes it's just as simple as putting on a pair of earrings, y'all. You ever just have on an outfit and realize like something is missing and then you put on a whole a pair of earrings and it just it just puts everything together. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't have to be something spectacular you just need to do pick something and do at least one thing a day that makes you feel better about yourself today is making sure that I don't look like a ragamuffin when I go to work tomorrow I've been pushing off doing my hair I've been doing my daughter's hair consistently because you know it's not her fault can't have my baby going around looking crazy but here i am not taking the time out for myself you know so when i got some some news back in in january and ever since then i've been a little fatigued as well but it's normal it's normal for me anyways it's going to be a whole lot more of that speaking of y'all i am so sorry <laughs> i just thought about it i am so sorry i told myself I do little challenges for myself, okay? And I was supposed to do the 12 days of Valentine's Day. If y'all been around from day one, you know I post a video a week. That is how I'm consistent, that is how I roll. So I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can compete with some of these other YouTubers by, you know, just setting some time aside to pre-film and, you know, do 12. The 12 days of Valentine's Day. Man, like I said, I got that news. And I'm just massaging that oil into my scalp, y'all. I'm not doing nothing crazy. But I told you I got that news. And it seemed like shortly after that, I was just drained. Drained, drained, drained. So I got out five videos, but that's not 12. So I feel really bad because I really wanted to do it. Like when I tell you I started filming in January, but I think I messed up because... I was also trying to keep up with Instagram too. I don't know. This stuff can be overwhelming sometimes. And I'm starting to learn like you do certain things to, you know, ensure that you are the best or you can compete with the best. But at the end of the day, you can't stress yourself out about it. <laughs> like I want to do better and I'm going to do better. I am going to have a successful, you know, series of doing it maybe a week instead of starting with 12 days maybe i should have started with a week you know posting seven days a week to see how that goes but trial and error so if anybody was looking forward to the actual 12 days of valentine's day and only got like five or six videos i do apologize i hope the video with my husband made up for it because I thought it was pretty funny. Also, the giveaway. Thank you to everybody who participated. It actually had a pretty good turnout. It was nice. I enjoyed seeing all the different answers. Y'all got really creative in that. That was pretty cool. But um, the giveaway winner has been notified. I do hope that those who, who did subscribe for the video will continue to come by. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like to have a... A sweet and friendly and family atmosphere or at least that's what I'm going to be going towards I just didn't really know how to go into that direction like makeup I really love makeup you know what I mean and I do believe self-care is important you know I have a couple videos out there you know about that mom life I just want to I really want to offer a variety for you guys and also be a source of help if and when I can so it's not just it's not just about the makeup it's not just about the mom life but you know it is about empowering women I have some um some interviews I think I have lined up for some 
other moms in the military because I do, you know, I am in the military. And I feel like a lot of that life isn't made public for good reason because, you know, you talk too much, you go to jail, period. There are parts of, you know, the day-to-day -day military life that when you come home from working all day, you know, there are things that the military women in particular, in particularly experience, you know, because a lot of us, you know, depending on the dynamics of your marriage, and sometimes it can be um, subconscious that women, and it's not just women in the military, but, you know, working women in general, I personally feel, you know, you go to work and they work you like you don't have a family and kids at home and then you come home and you gotta work and keep up with the house cleaning and all that kind of stuff like you ain't never had a job so i feel like that's a a crazy thing to endure and handle you know at one time again it all depends on the dynamics of your home life and there are single moms out there that are in the military and you know, just single moms, period, that have to go out there and work and come home and have to help with homework and have to feed and have to give baths and have to, it's a lot, and then get back up and do it all over again. And that coupled with the military life, unexpected deployments, TDYs, it can get crazy. So I kind of want to shed some light and maybe even promote some resiliency in how to handle those types of situations because I've had to leave the twins and um, I hadn't had to go to a, um, a dangerous environment or anything like that. So every place I've left, it's been shorter, a shorter time period than normal. And I haven't, you know, I didn't go anywhere that I would fear for my life. So I've been blessed, but there are others who have, who have not had the same experiences I have. I kind of want to find those individuals and have them talk about their stories, see how they handle it, see what they did, you know, with their kids, for their kids how they were able to handle the stress, you know, being separated, those types of things too. Let me know if you're interested and let me know what you all actually want to see from my channel because I'm not I'm not going away from makeup. Let's let's <laughs> let's be clear, okay? I'm not going away from makeup, but I feel like as a woman in general, I have more to offer you all in the world, you know, than just makeup i'm not gonna lie i actually feel a lot better and a lot more productive doing this in front of you guys because like i said it just holds me accountable and that's another thing i speak on behalf of you know those that might be experiencing postpartum because i experienced postpartum but you know what i mean lack of self-care doesn't always come from depression it comes from being tired it comes from being overworked over exerted you know what i'm saying and sometimes to combat it you just have to one remember who you are and remember your worth you know what i'm saying if you know what you have the capability of looking like because everybody i feel like everybody has this picture of themselves where they're just like mm. Girl, you know you was fine that day. You know? Like, if you know what you're capable of, don't allow what you look like right now or your energy right now to mess you up, man. Like, you're a queen. You're a king. You know? Don't be afraid to put that extra effort into yourself. Like, believe it or not, I have friends that I have to constantly remind to buy themselves stuff because they feel guilty about getting themselves things. They will spend four or five hundred dollars on their husbands and their children at any time, but be scared to buy themselves a $12 body wash from Bath and Body Works. Kind of goes along with what I was talking about earlier, that, that weird mom guilt you get. Like you just feel like you have to continue to sacrifice it don't have to be like that man mom life don't have to be stressful it don't have to be boring it is going to be at times but that doesn't have to be the life you live you know what i mean sometimes if you have to tap out tap out if you have to you know ask for help ask for help 
I understand how hard that can be because my family is in South Carolina right now. So being in North Dakota, there's only a select few people that I would ask for help. And then I don't like, just because I'm, I can be a prideful individual sometimes, I don't like asking for help, which is an unhealthy trait of mind that I need to work on. But I really don't like asking for help, but sometimes it's needed. Sometimes it's a must. And you have to put that pride to the pride to the side for your sanity okay i've always believed in the saying you are no good to anybody else if you're no good to yourself so i mean whatever self-care is to you if it's getting a little bit of sleep maybe changing the kids bedtime from nine o'clock to seven o'clock okay so you can have some time for you have some time to clean the house if you know having a mess gives you anxiety you know what i'm saying to give you that time to do the things that are important to you read a book in silence one thing oh my gosh one thing that i've been doing a lot lately is um bath and body works has been having candle sales they had a big one during christmas new year's time frame they got one going on now um for this whole valentine's day president's day sale stuff and then right now they have a ten dollar off a of 30 coupon as well and man those candles have really been putting me in a state of relaxation like when i come home from work light one of them off by the time i you know get settled get out of the shower or you know start making dinner for the kids or whatever the case it's already starting to kick in starting to circulate if it helps Listen to music on your way home. Or even if silence is what you need. Maybe when you get home, it's it's chaotic. And you <laughs> you know it's going to be chaotic. So just driving, you know, taking the long way home from work, getting that peace in helps. Like it's literally just ensuring that you're present in the moment for yourself. Because I'm not going to lie, while I was sick, like I, I tried to force myself to do a whole bunch of stuff that not necessarily that i didn't want to do but that my body didn't want to do so it was robotic it was just doing it because i know i needed to do it not because you know i felt deep down in my heart that i wanted to do it for my family like i said i broke a whole mop i'm sorry I broke a whole mop trying to sweep the floor i meant trying to mop the floor all because i wasn't in a proper mind state i should just stay where i was I wouldn't have had to spend no extra money on no mop. It would have been good to go. But I'm not going to drag this whole thing out. I just really needed you guys to be here with me as I go. Because detangling natural hair can be a hot mess. It can be a journey. It can be tiresome. And, I mean, I just didn't want to lie to myself. Like, I was not going to get this done in a timely manner if I wasn't doing it for a purpose other than me. Because sometimes when, you, when you're when you struggling, you just don't matter. You know what I mean? Like, you don't matter to yourself at that moment. Not that you hate yourself. Not that, you know, you don't love yourself. It's just, I don't have the energy to put into myself. To pour into myself that love that I need right now. So, thank y'all for being my accountability. Thank y'all for sharing in my my mini self-love experience. I might come through and talk about a few other things at a later date, but I really just wanted to come through and let you guys know what let y'all know what I've been up to, why I haven't been, you know, on my videos, which I'd really do apologize that y'all I feel so trifling I'm not gonna lie but I've been so tired <laughs> I've been so tired and it's okay I'm gonna make it up to y'all later in the year and I'm gonna continue to do giveaways I really I really did enjoy the giveaway and I'm going to continue to do so I'm thinking maybe doing it um once every quarter even though we got a few additions to the family you know i still want to ensure that we have a very organic environment like you know if you guys are here you guys are here for me and you're here for one another so also if you have any uh self-care tips go ahead and drop them down below like i said i enjoy candles taking long showers is my peace 
time when I don't have children knocking on the door and putting fingers under the door crying mommy. For some, it's going to the gym and working out. Uh, and for some, you know, it's just taking that extra time to go to bed on time. You know how many people don't go to bed on time? Stressed out? Let me know. Maybe there's some things I didn't, I didn't even think of. I really appreciate if you guys would share and, you know, help out one another and help me out as well. With that being said, I'm going to finish up my hair. Be good. Be smart. Be safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.